So I kind of experienced some issue with my boots. Um, these are the Dan's with the uh, snake chaps on them. And my boot was separating from my sole. Bought them last year in April and um, contacted them. And they have a year's warranty. So what came to me in the mail today at no charge was a brand new pair of Dan's boots. So it's pretty cool. Um, I like it when people stand behind their equipment. Um, so if you need your new pair of Dan's boots, make sure you stop by Nightlife Kennels and um, order your pair. Uh, he has them right there on his website. He can get them for you, get them shipped to you. Thanks. <clears throat> I got the boys out tonight. An old cattle farm up here. We're gonna hunt Joe and Spot. And uh, we're gonna see what they do. I'm gonna do something I don't normally do. I'm gonna cut them both together. I may end up getting a foot race. We shall see. Here's the thing. They are both tone broke. So if I do do get that, then I'll... Uh, I'll tone them back and separate them. We'll be back with you shortly. I got Joe in there struck. I think he's thinking about treeing. Wasn't crazy about him running. He ran this logging road. And Spot's getting to where every time dogs tree, he wants to come back to me. You can see that knucklehead right there. He's going the distance. Then when the dog's tree, he's like, he wants to come back. And, hey, come with me and let me show you what they got. See, I've got to fix him. And I think getting him away from me is going to be the option. I think I'm going to have to either pay somebody to hunt him or take him to some training. He's buddied up with me a little too much, I think. Joe went in here and slammed that. I've been hunting about three minutes if he stays treed right here. We want to listen a little bit. See if he sticks this. I don't know if it's where they've done some foot racing. He's treating, he's done rolling over. Man, he is right on the property line. I got permission to hunt too. I mean, dead up on it. I'm gonna slow walk in there too. The light off, I'll be back with you shortly. All right, we got old Joe Treed right here. We'll see what he's got. He couldn't have went an inch farther. I mean, that's a property line. So we're gonna shine this tree up right here, see if he's got anything. And if he does, I'll show it to you. Hopefully he can continue his streak. He's 18 trees, 17 coons. Well, well, the old streak continues right there. I don't know if I'll be able to show you this one very good or not, but I did find him. I'm gonna look up there. And right where I have my laser. Right there in that fork is a coon. I'm gonna try to get a little bit better picture of him. Oh, Joe, he's done it again. Well, Joe went 793 in six minutes. 
and he had the meat. I was wondering how he was going to do. And to be honest with you, I felt like he was running this logging road a little farther than I wanted him to. But, man, you know, he, he gave about, I don't know, four or five barks, I reckon. And then he, he fell tree. And uh, I let him settle a little bit. He was listening. I think he was listening because I got my puppy in here. And he's running all over the place. And uh, he was trying to figure out what that puppy was doing. But I'm proud of him right there. You know, I'm thinking about trying to competition hunt Joe a little bit. I've had him for a couple weeks, and I've been learning him. And, of course, he's learning me. Um, when I got him, he was... He was... Uh, he was babied a little bit. He's two years old. And uh, the, the guy hunted him. He liked to walk him a little bit and encourage him. And um, Joe had to learn that when I cut you, I want you to go. So we had to have a couple lessons on that. But, man, I can't complain. You know, that's 19 trees and 18 coons. And uh, in our country, that's pretty impressive. You know, I hear people talk about we're thin coon down here. He's proving me wrong a little bit. <laughs> Uh, and I know he's going to prove some other people wrong, but you know, I'm excited about him. I want to start coon hunting him and some comp hunts a little bit. Uh, but yeah, he's he done he done really good right there. Um, while I'm talking, make sure that you uh, get the nightlife kennels uh, for all your coon hunting needs. Uh, Nick will take care of you, fast shipping, and uh, great prices. Go visit his website. He's got everything you want for coon hunting. Um, he's got great sponsors. He's got great uh, equipment. Uh, so he will he will hook you up. Um, if you need anything from me, you know, just uh, message me. I love to talk coon hunting. I'll talk coon hunting with anybody. I'm not the best in the world, but I've been doing this for 30 years. And uh, I got a pretty good handle on dogs. Knows what dogs needs and you know, if you got a situation, every dog's different, of course. Know your own dogs. But I've seen a lot of stuff and may help you be able to break some of it. May help you to, uh, you know, help figure out your dog. And if all else fails, I'm going to learn something from you too. So shoot me a message in one of these videos. Like and subscribe. And I uh, appreciate you watching.